So today I'm going to make my version of Algodillos. This is just some of the stuff you will need. That zucchini. I like zucchini cooked, so that's why I'm putting it in there. And that's cilantro. Pretty much guess what the rest of the stuff are. Well, that's cumin. Garlic powder, salt. And pepper, carrots, meat, corn. Alright. So this is the stuff you'll need. Alright, here I have my meat where I'm going to mix everything. We have one egg right there. We have, this is minced garlic. Um, if you don't want to do it yourself, I guess you can buy the bottled kind and just put some on there. Although I'm not sure how many teaspoons or whatever that would be because I used two of these. I just chopped it up, put it in there. That is cilantro. And I used about a little less than half the bundle that's there, the tippy top of it. Just chopped it up, put it in there. And then we have garlic powder. I used... Doo -doo -doo almost a whole teaspoon no I did use a whole teaspoon salt I used a little less but um you don't want to get it too salty and then we have onion which the onion I would say just cut off one of the sides not half just part of the side cut it off and then cut that piece in half and just used half of that piece and that's um cumin right there so the cumin I used one fourth teaspoon, but I used, I didn't use the whole one, I used the whole teaspoon, I used about half, so that gives you about the right measurement, and now I'm going to mix it up, so if you have any rings, I advise you take them off. Alright, here I'm mixing it all up. As you can see, it's kind of hard. We want it mixed pretty well, and then after this, we're gonna roll them up and make them into little meatballs. Okay, so, I have one meatball rolled up. So, just to give you an idea, what about that big? It's about a, a little over an inch and a half, and you just want it all around. And then, you're just gonna place it into your water. I haven't started the water yet. I haven't turned on the stove, so I kind of let them sit in there until I'm all done, and then I turn it on. Right, here are my little meatballs. So, one thing I want to say is, if you want more meatballs, you can obviously roll them smaller. If you want, personal preference, whatever you want. And I'm going to set the temperature, I would say, I guess, mine says 5. I have an old stove. That's what you get when you rent. <laughs> and then I have carrots here and onions that you want to have already cut. And they're about, I'd say about one fourth inch thick. Carrots take a while to cook from my experience. So you'll probably want to put them in with the meatballs so they hurry up and cook. And the onions, you can put them in anytime. Um, obviously if you put them in later they're going to be crisper whereas if you put them in now they're going to be a lot softer. Alright, so I put my carrots in and I raised the temp to 7 because I didn't feel like 5 was doing much for me. I put 1 4 teaspoon of cumin and 1 teaspoon of garlic powder. Yum. I like my garlic. I don't know about you guys. Oh, and then you also want to have chopped up some cilantro. Forgot about that. So you can add that in at the end. Okay, so here's the zucchini. I cut it. I cut the zucchini in half and then I chopped it up. It's about a little... It's about one-fourth or bigger. These tend to cook very 
quickly. So, <clears throat> and then I ended up only using one potato. But well, I don't think it's all gonna fit in my pot. So, I would rather not have potato left over. <laughs> but um, yeah, you want these about an inch, one one half, or I mean half an inch. <laughs> Um, obviously the bigger they are, the longer they're going to take to cook. So here's the rest of my cilantro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to probably cut it all the way up to here. You don't need the rest of it, but it's about that, and I'm going to save it till the end. Ta-da! It's cut up. So the can of corn I'm using is whole kernel golden sweet corn. Um, it really doesn't matter what corn you use as long as they're whole and filled with some kind of watery liquid, which you need to drain. I just, I take the top off and I, I like that and then I drain it in the sink. You can do the same, unless you have a better way, whichever. Okay, it's been about a total of 15 minutes and this is what you have, this stuff is basically fat so if you want to take that out you can just scoop it out and then just like that you can lower down the heat I had a cap on it too so all right this is what it looks like now since I've taken some of the fat out it's a lot clearer there's, there's some of the fat dun, dun, dun. now I'm gonna add the potatoes in all right, added the potatoes. Oh, let's see, oh, there, there's one. <laughs> and I lowered down the heat to six. So there we go. And I'm gonna put the top back on. It's been about 25 minutes, and I am now adding the zucchini. Kind of stirring it around. And uh, just so you know, when the top is on, it does get hotter and you will see these rolling and stuff if you're using a top like me okay all right i also added the cilantro and if you want you can salt now or wait till the zucchini's done it's up to you um i added my salt already and then if you want a little heat you can always put a little heat in it. My fiance likes it a little spicy, and I'm okay with it. All right, it's almost done. I'm gonna add the corn into it. All right, the soup is all done, and I dished my soap up some. Oh yeah, and the other thing too is, if you wanna add lime, you can. I prefer lime, I like it. 